All right, the number one most interesting thing about the Oscar nominations, go. Well, I clearly there is a bias against squeakles. I mean, no squeakles were nominated this year. In fact, if you look back at Oscar history, I don't think any squeakle has ever been nominated. Well, The Godfather 2, The Squeakle. Godfather 2, The Squeakle was the last one, I think. And also another interesting thing this year is you've got two movies nominated for Best Picture with Up in the title. You've got Up, Up That's in the Air. That's fascinating. Well, we're and writing deep. A now. We're writing a movie now called Up Yours, which we think <laughs> is guaranteed to get a nomination. It's just how things are trending. <laughs> and what was the biggest shock? I think in, in a year in which Sandra Bullock has had so much success, mm -hmm. the Academy completely ignoring all about Steve. Yeah. It really comes as something of a, of a huge Clearly shot. The, the favorite Sandra Bullock movie of the year. Did Absolutely. it get the Razzie? It did get the Razzie, yeah. Yes. It's, it's a big week for Sandra Bullock. So, which is it going to be? Which of the exes? Cameron? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, we're on Team Bigelow. Team Bigelow. You, oh, really? Oh. I'm actually hoping that uh, they reenact the plot of It's Complicated. I mean, that would be a great movie, you if, know? If this could bring them together. Ex-wife, ex-husband, meet at the Oscars, sparks fly. And it's kind of a squeakle. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. It's complicated, the squeakle. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what does it really say at the end of the day about money in Hollywood, what was nominated? We, we loved Avatar. Um, I mean, in fact, we started smoking because of it. Uh, uh, I've, I've been a pack-a-day smoker ever since I saw Sigourney Weaver light up. Yeah, very <laughs> seductive. Amazing. And the 10 nominations, you think this is just a stake in the heart of the Oscars to do this? Honk if you weren't nominated? There's a lot of people today who are saying, well, I would have been 11. Yeah. I would have been number 11. There's a lot of people claiming number 11. Who do you most wish you could meet? We'll I mean, settle for anyone at this point. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not sure. They, I mean, you know, just talking to you over the internet is... This is the highlight of our year. Yeah. yeah. Right? How much are you anticipating the Alec Baldwin, Steve Martin duo? It's going to be certainly one of the funniest Oscars and one of the most awkward dance numbers yeah. in the beat in Oscar history. <laughs> anyway, thank you both. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Happy Oscars to come. Yes. Yes, thank you. And, uh, and get a life. This is the high point. Get, get a, a life. life. Get a life. You're not the first to say that. <laughs> Bye.